Hey everyone and welcome back to my Young Merlin Let's Play. This is episode 4. Uh, in the last part we went through some mazes, some mines and some mermaid places. In this part, um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you a way to get two more heart pieces. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get them at this early point in the game, you, but uh, the actual time you get them is not that far away, but I'm going to show you how to get them anyway. There's basically two heart pieces somewhere in this underwater place. And I know where they are, so we're going to go get them. They are possible without the next item. Um, and I'm not sure if they're entirely supposed to be. But you can get them. So I'll show you how to get them. You basically come this way, and hopefully I'm not going to run out of air before I get to this grotto. And... Oh, a few. Uh, there's a mermaid there. I believe this next one's also a mermaid. Yes, it is. And then you've no more mermaids until you get there, so... Come around here, and there is a heart piece on the floor over here! You don't need to get back to the mermaid, you just need to basically die. Once you die, you'll just respawn at the beginning of the mermaid place, which is here. Uh, the other heart piece you can get is down here. You want to talk to this mermaid here again. Well, kiss this mermaid here. You don't really talk to them. You just run up to them and kiss them. Because mermaids, you know, that's how mermaid rolls. Mermaid, that's how Merlin rolls, damn it. Mermaid, Merlin. Oh. It's too early in the morning. It's like... It's 4pm. It's too early. Uh, you want to just kiss this mermaid over here and then come down here. This can be a bit of an annoying part because you'll have a cat and dogfish spawning there. There's also a bubble stream there which you walked past. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the cat and dogfish can kind of spin you around for a bit and the bubble stream... Um, if the bubble stream, if the bubbles are firing directly across, then they will knock you back and remove a lot of your air. So you have to wait for them to stop going up and... It's kind of hard to see when they're turned on and turned off, but... That's basically how you get past them. Uh, that's a fish. Uh, I'm going to go back to that mermaid, you know, I'm going to play it safe. I'm even going to use a state. That's how safe I'm going to play it. So, all the way to the left, you'll see that- Ow! See, that's what happens and I'm dead. And I think the timing is now messed up on this so that that will always activate when I walk past it. Ow. Yep, it will! Which means we've got to start from the beginning. Yay! Yeah, those bubble streams can be a bit of bit of luck and a bit annoying, but... Yeah. If you come back later on, these are these heart pieces are a lot easier to get though, because you don't actually have to talk to any mermaids or kiss any mermaids to actually um, to actually get to the heart pieces, because your breath is so much longer. Uh, there's also hammerhead sharks, and they will also knock a lot of your air off. And come on, this could take a while. Okay, okay, okay. It's turned on now, it's turned on now. Wait for it to turn off, it's turned off, and there's a mermaid in here! <sighs> okay, I made it. <laughs> and basically just come up here, that's a fish in there, and there's a heart piece over here. So we've got uh, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of the heart pieces. I'm see, I'm bad at counting. Um, and now, now I've got those two heart pieces. There's one other item down here, but we actually can't get it. I have tried many times and you cannot get it. You can get to it, but you die on the way back and you cannot die with this item because you won't keep the item, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, so we're going to head back to the rainbow pond now and I'll just show you how to get out of here and then how to get out of the mines. Then there'll be a bit of cutting in this episode because uh, am I going the right way? Are you a mermaid? Yes you are. Thank you. Uh, there'll be a bit of cutting because at this point there's quite a bit of backtracking in the game. I drive the balloon, yes I do. There's a bit of backtracking in the game and you have to move between here, the rainbow pond and Castellari quite a few times. Uh, so basically now we're in the mines, you want to come down here and to the left, stun dust out. Stun dust out before you get up here because there's actually four dwarves. You can usually get past them without having to freeze them or kill them or whatever, but they will throw dynamite if they're not frozen. Which is painful. 
So yeah, just get past them and up here and you're basically already at the entrance to the mine. It is just up here and there's the exit. So now I'm going to cut back up to the rainbow pond, which is over here. And we're going to throw the blue gem in if we can ever find it. There it is. And now it's a <gasps> pentuple rainbow. All the way, oh my god. Meanwhile, over in the caves area, some dwarf that's wandering around just jumped up and surprise and now they've placed a dwarf there so that was kind of a pointless meanwhile basically all it means is that they've put a dwarf there for you to fight next time you go there and you'll pick up the bubble bubble's a really useful item especially for going um especially for the mermaid bit this is what's going to give you a lot more breath basically that will give you six bars of breath but when you use it you actually regain all your breath as well so uh, you can actually have nine bars of breath, which is enough to get anywhere from either exit, really. Uh, you'll also want to get some rainbow water. We already have some blue water from the last episode. And if I can find my stun dust, there it is. You're also going to, in your other empty bottle, get some clear water. You basically need th each of the three types of waters for something we will see later. Um... <laughs> And basically you can do this with one, where are we going? Yes, we're going this way. You can do this with one, um, with one bottle. You don't ever need to get the second or third bottles that we found in the maze and the mines. But having three bottles makes a, a little bit in this game a lot easier. Because you can hold all three types of waters at once, which is useful. Uh, anyway, we're going to go back to the mermaid part, which is just here. And we're going to find the bubble quickly. We're going to head to the left. If I can find the bubble, there it is. And hammerhead. Damn you, hammerhead. I'm going to use the bubble. And we're going to head all the way to the left along the bottom. And if you come up here, you'll find nothing because I've gone the wrong way. That's wonderful. Are you a mermaid? Please be a mermaid. Yes. So we're going to go left. I didn't go far enough left, apparently. And up. And you can find the fishy! It's actually a cave herring, apparently, but whatever. Uh, if you die with the cave herring, it will escape, so you cannot die once you've done this. You have to actually get your breath back. Um, the mermaids will only give you three bubbles of he uh, breath, so you need to talk to them. Well, kiss them twice. And then we're, we should be able to just get straight out of here if we find the balloon without talking to any more mermaids. There we go, and up we go. Now we have to go all the way back to Castellari, so now I'm gonna cut all the way back to Castellari's house, which is um, over here. And we're gonna give him his fish. So, Castellari, we've given you your key. We've given you this pointless fish that you wanted. Come on, make with the spells, make with the spells. This is going to be good. This is going to be fantastic. Look, we'll just watch. This... Uh, oh. It's a spring. Yes. After all your hard-earned efforts, hard-earned efforts, hard-worked efforts, he will give you a spring. Yeah, you better stay in there. I'm not helping you again. <sighs> so, yeah, now we've got a spring. That's going to be useful. You can't actually use this, except in one point, but... Anyway, we're going to head back to the other side of the mermaid place now. So I'm going to cut all the way back to the other entrance, or the exit of the mermaid place. When you get up here, obviously as you saw in the cutscene, there's going to be a guard. Um, you can kill him if you want, you don't actually need to, but I will anyway, because I have trouble controlling this character. And then we're going to use the spring to get over there. Woo! It, good thing it came in handy, otherwise I'd be killing Castle Eye right now. Uh, you'll get another password for doing this. Uh, right RBR, down down YB, LRX, right up YBB. Um, and after that, we're going to go through this door. But first you can pick up this little thing here, and I'll explain what that does in a minute. Firstly, when you enter here, you'll find three bulls on the wall. Gee, I wonder what those could mean. 
They are four different types of water, so in the first one this is the rainbow pond, so you need the rainbow water. The second one is where you got the tulip, so that's the clear water. And the third one is where you got the daisy, and that's the blue water. Once you fill those bowls, the fire will go away and you can enter. This place is filled with blocks. And you know what that means in an early 90s adventure game? Yes, it's lots of block puzzles. Uh, but first, you can come over here, push this box to the left, and get out the balloon, and you can fly up here. This will let you get another heart piece. So now we've got 12 heart pieces. These do actually get a, get a lot ha harder to find from now on, so... We are probably about halfway through the game now. How do you get back down? Do you use the balloon again? Mm, no... Oh, you just stay to the right side. Okay, anyway... Uh, to get past this part, you need to push that one to the right... Push that one up... And go to the right... Push that one to the right... Push that one up... Very simple block puzzles, yay! This on the floor, you will notice it is the same pattern as that. Uh, if you use that, it will actually take you back to the last one you passed. So, basically you can use it to reset a puzzle. Like, if you push that into a corner or something, like if I s totally screw myself over by pushing it over there, then reset. And you can get that back. So, uh, this one is really, really hard. Like, you've got switches on the floor, you've got a block. You have to put all the blocks on the switches. And this one took me ages to figure out, you just have to push this one to the right. Anyway, there are other block puzzles around here. Um, which I'll show you. So there's this one here. And... I think there's one down here as well. No, there's blocks, but there's no puzzle. Uh, anyway, we're going to solve all these block puzzles in the next episode, though. So... Oh, there's this one as well, that one's evil. So, in the next part, we will be solving some block puzzles, killing another boss, and uh, I think actually f getting the very last two rainbow gems. So that should be fun. See you next time!